Okay, you can look at me. <laughs> right, okay, so um, passage 20 of 2009. Um, at the school we've got 54 children currently. Um, and out of that 54, we've got 52 coming with us to the park this year because it's been very popular. Um, we've been lucky enough to have lots of artists come in to work with the children which has helped to deepen their understanding of um, Indian culture within Britain. Um, for example, they spent um, a week looking at information on um, cricket and how it came to India and also um, polo and the games that they had um, and they created their learning logs on that. I think one of the most important things for them was they learned about the different foods um, where we had um, somebody come in to show us how the different spices were crushed and used as opposed to just seeing a curry in a jar which most of them had seen prior to that. And the other really valuable thing was that in Key Stage 2 we have to do a project on an Indian village and as we live in a village ourselves here um, it's really important for the children to see the differences between the villages. Um, Gita had travelled to India and had got some footage for us about um, an Indian village and so that we could use that to see how they, for example, cooked on open stoves and the children were really interested to see how they made the fuel for the stoves um, and that's something that they remembered very much um, and they compared that to their own houses. Um, so they were able to make a comparison which wasn't just out of a textbook which you might have done previously. And um, of course, some of our children were lucky enough to be recorded um, singing their song. So all of the children got to see a recording studio and how it worked, because it was one set up in the school. So all in all, once again, a fantastic experience. And uh, we'll definitely do it again. What about the, cl uh, the classical dancing that you did? Oh, classical dancing with um, Carly. He's come in and done some Indian classical dance with the children. Um, very important for them to use the control of their body because in some of our dances they can be more fluid and relaxed. Um, but within this traditional dance they needed very much to have control of their body and be able to place themselves. So for our younger children, the reception children in the Key Stage 1, that really linked in with their PE targets of that control and being aware of their body and where they are in the room. How about the history of the, of the polo and cricket and the sport element thing, of, of things? Yeah, um, I think the children were interested to find out that we'd taken cricket to India because um, a lot of the boys in particular um, obviously are aware that England haven't done so well um, in recent times against India and so they were very very shocked that actually they'd introduced or England had introduced it to India as opposed to the other way around um, so that was really good and polo was a sport they didn't really know anything about so to be able to learn about polo and because um, they've been doing more traditional sports like lacrosse at school so for them to learn about a sport like polo as well, and particularly as we've got six horse riders in the class, I think it was really interesting and I know a couple of them are looking to go and do that when they're older, so that was very good.